An explosion. Dada fest. Recipe for scouse. Vegetables and cutlery jump into place to form the title. A young chef peels beetroot on a stainless steel worktop. OK, are you ready? Today I'm going to show you how to make scouse. But first of all, I need to pickle the beetroot. Beetroot is purple. Purple is red and blue mixed together. Fight the scouse for four teams. Blue is for Everton. Red is for Liverpool. Just in case you didn't know. Red and blue Sabitio players form letters. F O O T B A L L. Football. Two lads kick a ball around, one in red, one in blue. Liverpool are the best team. Everton is the best team in the world. We dash it hard. Other supporters. FC, yay! The Loggy Reds. Everton are the best. Nathan Mays is the best player in the world and he's right, he plays for Everton. Leighton Baines. There's definitely something special about the place and the people that are here. There's people who've been here for 20, 30, 40 years who, you know, it, it means everything to them. And, and I think, you know, when, when, you, when you arrive here as a player, I think even the foreign players, it doesn't take long for them to to realise that there's a special quality about the place. Why does Nathan Baines think as Liverpool as a city? It's one of the best cities in the country, in my opinion. Back in the right, kitchen. Right, let's get down to business. Now I've finished pickling with the beetroot, we can start on the meat. If you are vegetarian, you can use a meat substitute. Meat is one of the most important ingredients in Scouse. It's like the music in our city. There's no Scouse without music. Liverpool's Brill, Liverpool's Cool. We've got rappers and buskers too. Here's a short list of just a few. Trems, Eddie Mac and Twix on two. Liverpool's a hub for groundbreaking edgy music. Just think of all the singers and the bands from here. Tom McKitton, The Lightning Seeds, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, the Zootons, and of course the Beatles. Singer songwriter Cole Cole. has influenced my music because there's a certain energy and warmth about the city and the people and the different cultures that are here. The music scene in Liverpool right now is, is pretty vibrant. I feel you know there's a lot of artists um, that are doing their thing um, and a lot of different genres, um, should say. And even the fact that people are just blending genres to the point where it's not even a genre, like what is it that you do? I don't know, I just make music and it's good. You know what I mean? There's a lot of artists who I feel, when I'm listening to them, that's where I place the them. A woman with wings runs through I woods. Think buskers around the city is definitely um, a great thing for the music scene. And even just for the average person walking around the city, I mean, we all love music. So why not have music wherever you go around the city? It's, it's perfect, you just don't have to put your headphones on. A group of four lads busking. <laughs> Two on guitar, one on double bass, one on percussion. One of the baskets. Oh, it's brilliant for this music, to be honest. You've got every single house event you need. You've got circus, you've got chipuku, you've got band and silence. All different DJs around the world coming into one city. Amazing vibe. And you've also got alternative sort of music if you want to go to O2 Academy. Straight down the road from here. So everyone's got a wide choice of music if they want to. I need to go and get some more before I compare the vegetables. OK, come with me and just the see chef how it's fills done. a jug with water. In Liverpool, we have lots of water. It's called the Maze. An animated collage of a submarine under the sea. Its periscope pops up. On board a real ship, a captain looks out. What can you see? A plasticine eye in the periscope. It's the River Mersey, Captain. I think we're coming into Liverpool. Two young women aboard a real ship. I came from my boat for the Titanic, but you know when she will arrive. I can see that good man out of the Russian who wants to abolish slavery. This slavery has been going down for far too long. Rushed I in. have first-hand experience on a slavery ship. As of today, I am going to work to destroy slavery, and I will not rest until every last single bit of slavery is abolished. Yeah! The plasticine eye. I can see that famous author, Herman Melville. Bearded, writing with a quill on the For ship. miles, you may walk along the riverside. 
pressing dark after dark, like a chain of a man's fortress. Two lads at the dockside. Hi, Captain, have you got any jobs going? Very great. Um, our grandmothers are ill. Um, we need some money. Please say, have you got any jobs? What's that? The submarine. There's a tall ship, the Zebu, Captain, and it looks like... It definitely is. Pirates, Captain. There's pirates. The rigged ship in the Albert Dock. A member of the crew and his parrot. The captain to a sailor. Take the wheel, matey. The captain addresses another crew member. How's it going, mate? It is going the fine. Tell me something. What do you think of the city? Spent our last days here, and I'd say gained a liking to it. When I die, I want to be buried here. Good choice indeed. There are many places for many pirates to go. I agree, I agree. Captain, there's a lady over there blushing. Why don't you offer her hand and show her the city? I'll do just that. The parrot? The lady, would you like to come and take a look at the view? The captain in his braided coat and the young woman in period dress look out. What do you reckon of our fine city we have accompanied for the past couple of days? I really love the boat. Yeah, I will say, most of the harbouring boats that we see here are as, are as beautiful here as to have many other boats and women that I've met. You're doing yourself. She smiles shyly. Now time for the carrots. Carrots with plasticine faces. Liverpool was famous for the Connedy and Connets. Like Vicky Tong Ridson, Freddie Starr, Terry Teeter, <laughs> Don Bissett. <laughs> The carrot is chopped up. Many more. The Ken Dodd statue. Not to mention the unforgettable Ken Dodd. What do you call a man with two bottoms? Cheeky. Why can't you trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Why does a gorilla have big nostrils? Because it has big fingers. <laughs> a young lad laughs. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Why was the sand wet? Because the seaweed. Where do sheep get the wool cut? At the barbers. <laughs> Why can't a bicycle stand by itself? Because it's too tired. <laughs> Why can't pirates do the alphabet? Because they get stuck at sea. How did the barber win the race? He knew a shortcut. <laughs> Why did God invent this bar to smell? So deaf people like me can enjoy it as well. Hey, what's this? Puffed out cheeks. It's a pea. Where does the king keep his armies? Up his sleeveys. What's this? Puffed out cheeks framed by fingers and thumbs. It's a pea on a fork. What's brown and sticky? A stick. What's this? Puffed out cheeks bobbing up and down. It's a pea in boiling water. What did the fish say after he swam into a wall? Damn! <laughs> Back to the kitchen. Now time for the potatoes. The potatoes in Scouts are the buildings and the wolfy architecture that is the city. Chunks of potato form buildings and a bird which lands on top of a tower. A couple of pigeons Real from birds. the city to show you around. A drawing of the Metropolitan Cathedral. What's with that round building? It looks like a heart. Liverpool's Metropolitan Cathedral of Christ the King. It's the largest Catholic cathedral in England. This is the fifth biggest cathedral in the entire world. A drawing of the Anglican Cathedral. Oh, what are those birds doing up there? I'm going to knock one of them off. It's been to my spot. The liver building. You can't do that. It's a liver bird. Liverpool will sink into the mazy if you do that. Oh, well, that's what they say. The cult in our city is like an onion and scouts. There's lots and lots of ways to it. And it has the most amazing flavour. An onion is peeled and sliced. Onion rings spell the word culture. In 2008, Liverpool was the capital of culture and people visited from all over the world. And they still do, even giants. A girl in a pink dress stamps around like a giant, looking as tall as the liver building. Oh, she sits on a rooftop. 
Her feet appear below, like giant's feet. It's quite interesting stuff in there, wasn't it? Yeah. The giant? Since it was a capital of culture, it never looked back. We could go see some art at the Tate over there, or go see some photography at the Open Eye Gallery, or we could go see a play. Where? There's lots of theatres in Liverpool, so. There's the Everyman, the Unity, the Empire, there's loads. We should go and see them all. Come on then, let's get going. The young woman and her friend, a wheelchair user, make their way towards the Liver building. The chef crumbles a stock cube into the mixture. So that's the recipe for scouts. Those were the main ingredients, but you've got to come to Liverpool to find the other special ingredients and get a taste of the city for yourself. He smiles, a close-up view of the Scouse stew cooking. Recipe for Scouse was scripted, filmed and edited by Adam Price, Callum Farrelly, Christopher Higginson, Curtis Cunliffe, Daba al Kai, Daniel McClure, Daniel Lewington, Daniel Pritchard, Emily Gagan, Edward Ward, Hannah Morris, Harry Giorgio, Hedvika, Oklahoma, Hermione Gold, James Smith, Joanne Smith, Joel Murphy, Jordan Connerty, Joseph O'Reilly, Joshua Henderson, Carrick Pilkington, Kyle Burns, Ryan Oakes, Sarah Wise, Sarah Skelland and Shreen Jackson. Project assistant Solly Longhurst, Michelle Stubbs, Jack Morgan, Matthew Bates. School Sandville Park, Redbridge High, Egbert High, and Abbots Lee. Thanks to all the personal assistants, the partners, Walker Art Gallery, National Museums Liverpool, and First Take. Staff, project coordinator Rodney Adams, project manager Sam Wade, and the National Museums Liverpool education team. Screenwriting mentor Lynn Harwood, filmmaking mentor Nicola Mitchell. Drama workshops by Paula Sims, Music Workshops, Andy Frizzell and Jane Farr. Special thanks, Daniel Adamson Ship, Maritime Museum, Museum of Liverpool, Everton Football Club, Leighton Baines, Cough, The Blue Coat, Liverpool Lime Street Station and The Zebu Ship. And thanks of course to our funders, Heritage Lottery, Arts Council England and Liverpool City Council.